all right my dear so today i am going to share with you in this video one of the interesting fact that is why r134 is an eco-friendly refrigerant why this is important my dear you need to know the answer behind this question that's why you can understand its basic concept basically to know any refrigerant is eco-friendly or not you have to convert that name that uh, identification name which is given by ash ray to its chemical name if i mean if that i mean all refrigerants name are not uh, given by ash ray but this one is given by ash ray that's why i'm i mean sharing with you all right so that is different thing so how you can come to know that r134 is an eco-friendly represent for this you need to know three only three formulas of course this is a un, uh, unsaturated hydrocarbon I mean, this is uh, sorry. This is a saturated hydrocarbon. I'm sorry. Uh, 134 is a saturated hydrocarbon. Okay. If we got this kind of saturated hydrocarbon refrigerant, then what we have to do? We have to use three formulas to convert this refrigerant into its original, its a chemical name. I know what is the formula, uh, what is the chemical name, but I need to share with you how you can calculate by yourself only. All right. So we got a formula R m minus 1 n plus 1 p then n plus p plus q 2 m plus 2 then we got another formula c m h n f p c l q basically all three are steps a step by step method to find out its chemical formula or chemical name when I mean, first we have to use this one then this one then this one and these all steps are necessary for anyone those are having interest in uh, refrigerant that's why i'm sharing with you all these interesting questions that's why it will be quite easier for you to understand and uh, to find out its real cause behind it all right so let's get started so basically what we have we need to compare this one and this one first place we got m1 minus 1 and there first place we got 1 just write one if you simplify then we'll get m is equal to two now what we got in the second place n plus one is equal to three if we simplify n is equal to two now p is equal to four don't need to don't need to simplify because already it is given all right so if if i will put all these values or all, all these values then what i am missing here q so to, to find out Q, we need to use this equation because in this equation, as you can see, we are having all values, but we don't have the value of Q. So by using this equation, we need to find out the value of Q. That means N is equal to how much? 2. P is equal to 4. And Q is equal to, we need to find out 2M, 2 into 2 plus how much? 22 plus 2. So, if I'll simplify all these 6 plus Q is equal to 6, 6 is countless, so Q equal to 0. So, if I'll put all values here in this equation, so what I got C to H to F 4, Cl 0. By simplifying, we can write C to H to F 4. Now, here the concept you need to grab because in this represent as you can see in the chemical element chlorine atom is zero and only out of all these atoms only chlorine atom having capacity to deflate the ozone layer because in this represent we have zero chlorine atom or this is a chlorine free represent that's why this is known as eco-friendly represent Suppose that if I want to calculate R11, then this is not an eco-friendly refrigerant. This is not an eco-friendly refrigerant, not even R12. Because all these kind of refrigerant having chlorine atom. 
all right now what you need to do you need to practice what is the chemical name for these refrigerants for that what you have to do we have to consider you have to write this one like this r 0 1 1 and this one like this r 0 1 2 that's why m minus 1 equal to 0 n plus 1 equal to 1 and p equal to 1 again for this case also would be same I hope you understand something from this video and uh, hope this video helpful uh, you to discover that how R134 is an eco-friendly refrigerant. Alright, so I hope you got some valuable information from this video. Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye-bye.